Good morning to one and all. Welcome to day three of a three-day online national webinar where analytical methods for stability testing of pharmaceuticals and herbal formulations. A very good morning to all. On behalf of Sri Vishnu College of Pharmacy, I, Dr. Srinivas Rao, coordinator, and Dr. Sylvia, organizing secretary for this webinar, would like to welcome our guest speaker for today's session, Professor and Dr. Pramod Bujangarao Hadekar sir. He is a professor and HOD, Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences, Rastasam Tukodoji Maharaj, Nagpur University, Nagpur. And also welcome to Dr. K.S. Natras, Principal, and Dr. Kumar V.S. Nemani, Director, Sri Vishnu College of Pharmacy, Bivaram to the day three of three-day online national webinar on analytical methods for stability testing of pharmaceuticals and herbal formulations organized by the Department of Pharmaceutical Analysis and Department of Pharmacognosy in association with IPA Education Division, Andhra Pradesh. Sir, brief SVCP clippings. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Firstly, I would like to introduce our principal and director, sir, to the gathering. Our principal, Dr. K.S. Natras, completed his BPOM from Gulbarg University, Karnataka, MPOM from MGR University, Tamil Nadu, and PhD in JNTU, Anandapur. He worked in various teaching designations at Chaitanya College of Pharmaceutical Education and Research, Varangal, presently serving as a principal of our scholars since 2020. He has about 20 years of teaching experience. Dr. K.S. Natras has published about 70 papers in reputed national and international journals. He has guided five PhDs and guiding three PhDs and several PG students. 
He is specialized in the research areas like analytical and bioanalytical method development and stability indicating studies of APS and their pharmaceutical formulations. He has wide research experience and several DHT and AACP research grants to his credit. <coughs> Dr. Kumar V.S. Nimani, Director of Srivishnu College of Pharmacy, since 2018, holds B.Pharm and M.Pharm degree from Andhra University of Sapatno. He holds Ph.D. degree from Naipur Mohali and postdoctoral fellowship from McGill University, Montreal, Canada. Dr. Kumar was specialized in the research areas like oncology, autoimmune disorders, respiratory disorders, and pain. <coughs> he has published and presented more than 70 papers in reputed Indian and international journals and conferences. Dr. Kumar sir has over 14 years of industry research expertise on drug discovery and development and managerial experience. Now I request Dr. Kumar V.S. Nemani, Director Sir, Sri Vishnu College of Pharmacy to give you a welcome note. Director, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Uh, Srinivasra, HOD Pharmaceutical Analysis. Uh, good morning and welcome uh, to each one of you to this three day webinar series. So, this is the series we are conducting, and this particular uh, webinar is being uh, organized by the Department of Pharmaceutical Analysis and Farm Cognacy. So on this note, on behalf of the management staff, students, and volunteers of this college, I welcome you all for this uh, webinar series. I also like to thank the coordinators and uh, volunteers for making this uh, possible. Trust this uh, webinar series is useful to you and uh, make best use of it by interacting with the the, the speaker of today, Dr. Pramod Khetkar, and is a professor and well-experienced person from Nagpur. So I'm sure the, this the talk will be very interesting and useful to each one of you. So at this note, uh, I once again um, thank for each one of you for your registration. And uh, I wish that uh, you make best use of this. And at the same time, actively participate in our future webinars, which is being handled by uh, Department of Pharmaceutics followed by Department of Pharmacology. So have a good day, thank you. Now I would like you to invite Professor N. Sylvia Madam to introduce today's speaker, Professor and Dr. Pramod Bujangara Kadekar sir. Nagpur University, Nagpur. Over to Dr. Sylvia, madam. Good morning, all. Hi, Dr. Sylvia from Department of Home Pharmacy. Welcome you all to the third day session of the national webinar on analytical methods for stability testing of pharmaceuticals and herbal formulations. I, the organizing secretary of this uh, national webinar, take the privilege to introduce our uh, today's guest speaker, Professor Dr. Pramod Bhujangara Kadekar. Sir, so, Professor Kadekar sir is presently working as a professor and head of the Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences, RTM Nagpur University, Nagpur. Professor Kadekar sir did his PhD at RTM Nagpur University, Nagpur. He is having 33 years of teaching and research experience and guided uh, nine PhD students and many MPOM students. So he is a recipient of several awards and honors to his credit. So a few of them are APTI Best Teacher Award, Best Scientist Award, Commonwealth Academic Fellowship of Royal Society, London, UK. And he is a member of evaluation companies like NAC, PCI, and AICT. And he is also a visiting professor to a number of universities in India and abroad. He has published about uh, 150 research papers in repeated journals, and he is a uh, resource person for many conferences. So he got uh, many research projects sanctioned from different government funding agencies, and to his credit, he has three patents. So thank you all. Now I hand over the session to the webinar coordinator. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Now I request our speaker, sir, Professor Kadekar, sir, 
to begin his talk. Over to you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, madam, for giving such a nice introduction. I am uh, audible, sir. Whether I am audible or not? Audible, sir. Audible. Okay, okay. Then I will continue. Please, please share your okay. screen, sir. Ah, uh, uh, sc screen also I will share. Okay. Posting ball models like that. Posting ball models like that. A very good morning to all. Ah, uh, and screen is visible to you? Uh, yes, sir. Visible, sir. Please okay. go ahead, sir. Okay. A very good morning to all and welcome to all for today's webinar. Thanks to the organizer for inviting me as a guest speaker in the national webinar on analytical methods for stability testing of pharmaceuticals and herbal formulations. My thanks are due to the chairman, to the convener, Dr. K. S. Nataraj, Principal Sri Vishnu College of Pharmacy. Then I must thank to the coordinator, Dr. A. Srimasa Rao, who was in constant touch with me for this webinar. Thanks are also due to the organizing secretary, co-convener, all faculty members of Sri Vishnu College of Pharmacy. Then uh, my thanks are also due to the participants and fellow colleague. Now, in the name of your college itself, the name is Sri Vishnu. So Vishnu. God of all, then in your address also, address the place is Bhimavaram. Bhim. Everybody knows in Mahabharata the role of Bhim. And on such a place, your college is located. And the logo says that universal learning. So, really, it is a great pride of matter for me to have the webinar with such type of the institution. Now, my topic of today's webinar is Stereochemical Trends in Stability Testing of Pharmaceuticals. Now, stereochemistry is a very vital important component for stability of pharmaceuticals as well as for the stability of herbal formulations. And without stereochemistry and without the stability, we can't make any pharmaceutical preparations or any formulations. So, today, I will discuss about the role of stereochemistry and how it affects the stability testing of pharmaceuticals. Now you are aware that stability, stable. Now in stereochemistry also the stable word plays a vital role. A chair conformer is stable. So from that itself the stability concept can be continued further from stereochemistry point of view. And in normal way stability it is defined as the ability of any pharmaceutical product to retain its chemical, physical, microbiological and biopharmacological product within specified limit throughout its shelf life. So that means this stability is regulating chemical, physical, microbiological, biopharmacological properties and these properties has to rely on stereochemistry. So stereochemistry and stability it goes hands to hand. Now we are aware that storage condition for testing in normal way, the stability study that we carry out either in accelerated form or intermediate through or through long term. And the storage conditions also we are aware in case of accelerated, it is 40 plus minus 2 degree Celsius and 75 plus minus 5 degree Celsius here in that case. And testing frequency in months, it might be lasting from 0 to 6 months. For intermediate, again, 30 to 32 and 65 to 5 percent relative humidity and the testing frequency will be in months from 0 to 36 months and for long term the temperature storage conditions will be 25 to again uh, variation of 2 degree and the relative humidity 60 to 65 and the testing uh, frequency in months will be from 0 to 60 months 5 years almost it will be there so based on that here while considering this storage conditions Stereochemistry will be playing vital role in all conditions in accelerated form, intermediate form and long term form. Now here, what the stereochemical trend shows? Now the drugs and their metabolites might undergo degradation due to physical, chemical, microbiological and biopharmaceutical reactions which results in instability of the drug molecule. So our aim is to stabilize it 
and without stereochemistry the stability can't be here maintained now here in that case the factors that are actually controlling the stereochemical trends here the main is our environment in sun so sunlight is there from that temperature is regulated then the ph comes then the anticoagulants then from stereochemistry point of view chiral conversions of the molecules r conformation that might get convert to s conformation then in blood samples hemolysis then enzyme mediated degradations then chemical reactions again they will be uh, having then correlation with the substrate and enzyme so all these are the factors which are actually governing the stability of the molecule through stereochemistry so this chart or this uh, uh, slide is highlighting that factors affecting the stability of drug and their metabolites in biological matrices now here one pyramid i have shown where it is actually governing the stereochemistry in polymer stability we are aware that polymers are used everywhere in pharmaceuticals and here in that case if at the uh, pyramid we show at the top stereo complexation at one end then other end will be having cis trans isomerism and other end the third end will be regulating optical isomerism and in between that your hetero stereo complex stereo complex enantiomer polymer isostatic polymers syndotactic polymers heterotactic polymers ertactics then homopolymers cis and trans might be regulated then alternating cis and trans mixtures so all these they are regulating so here in that case they might regulate the crystalline form semi crystalline form largely amorphous form or the amorphous form now the stereochemical configuration that means here that we have mentioned ectactic means it is not regular heterotactic it means it is random syndiotactics it is alternating and isotactics means same iso means same now here is the schematic representation of the relationship between polymer stereochemistry and crystallinity it plays a vital role in formulation of the pharmaceuticals as well as the herbal formulations so without stereochemistry we can't go for the stability testings and further for your preparations of pharmaceuticals as well as your herbal formulation so that is the theme behind this slide now here in that case here at that particular point here uh, how that is regulated here at that particular point we can have here in that case the stereo complexation the stereo complexation of the certain crystals here the uh, a part that is the crystal structure of stereo complex polylactide and that is of your uh, lactite uh, structure right synthetic helical with uh, multiple strains that is a rare and the b part that is beyond affecting bulk thermal and mechanical properties and stereo complexation can increase in the molecular ordering of polymeric system to influence the formation and or stability of well defined nano structure so in nano chemistry also this will be playing an vital role i am audible and the slides are visible so in between that you should give a feedback participants my slides are visible and my voice is clear from your side no response i am getting say yes or no sir i am audible yes sir you are yes. audible ha you should say yes immediately ha huh? otherwise uh, here the sequence i get disturbed so in between that suppose if after two or three slides if i ask response should come from your side okay i will continue now in stereo chemistry that chirality have an importance in various areas such as purchasing of active pharmaceutical ingredients selection of adjuvants in doses form development in vitro dissolution studies stability studies in vitro or in vivo correlation dosier preparation for technology transfer then your uh, anda applications or nda applications and in scale up and post approval changes so these are the things that are required for stereo chemistry now one example i am quoting here that chiral bottle brush polymers with discrete side chains 
so with flexible side chain and rigid side chain so here in that case your rigid side chain that will have the handedness and does not affect the biological properties whereas flexible side chain in molecules that will have the handedness and affect biological properties so here in that case we will be requiring here the uh, rigid side chain so based on that it will not affect the biological properties now the outcome of this uh, stereochemical trends in the stability testing should be the enantiomers that have different effect on the human body so examples that are propoxyphene methorphan then one enantiomer is more effective than the other ibuprofen you can have it one enantiomer is useful while the other cause harm like thalidomide ethambutol so here in that case here the example that i have quoted for ethambutol so the ss configuration that is used for treatment of tuberculosis whereas rr ethambutol that causes the blindness just an example i have quoted now while uh, preparing the drugs drug repurposing is a tangible strategy for developing antiviral agents within a short period now this has been used during the covid period and by using stereochemistry the vaccines or the drug molecules that has been prepared in a short duration of time so it starts with the virtual screening of the approved drug and employing docking stimulation so here in that case while taking into account the stereochemistry we can fast the manufacturing procedure and the drug molecule can reach to the patient now coming to the basics of this what basic lies behind this stereochemical trends in stability testing now we are aware all pharmaceuticals or all molecules or chemical entity they are having carbon now this are you able to see the stick ball model which is in my hand say yes or no the stick ball model i am holding in my hand no sir not visible not visible okay one minute one minute one minute the slide is visible na yes sir yes sir ah. now it is visible yes sir now it's clear uh, uh, the stick ball model that i am holding now you can have the correlation with the slide now here carbon it is tetravalent four valencies so what an uh, beauty that carbon is having it is having four bonds going in four directions our universe is having four directions that means this carbon is going in all four directions and it regulates the complete biological system in humans as well as animals in food system also so that carbon so you can justify with the nature or you can correlate with the natural things it is going in four directions and the bond angle 109.5 which is perfect and here if you show the three dimensional structure of that Uh, this uh, methane molecule so this stereochemistry that will be actually required as a stool uh, here in that case for the research purpose or for developing the stability testing now here in that case i always used to say that though the organic molecules or the this medicines they are non living but they behave like an living things so they will have their biological activity and you can have the correlation with the living system so this is how the beauty of that tetrahedral carbon atom now what that stereochemistry says from definition point of view it was uh, named from the greek term stereos meaning solid now just now i am holding that solid sample so here based on that here the science of organic chemistry that deals with the structure in three dimensional and based on relationship between molecular and structural properties it will be regulating the stereochemistry and also it will be regulating your stability testing so without stereochemistry stability testing is not feasible or not possible now here the study of static and dynamic aspects of the three dimensional shape of the molecules provide foundation for understanding structure and mechanism in organic chemistry and that will be also having contribution toward the of the molecule now we are aware that organic compounds 
they are nothing but hydrocarbons why they are hydrocarbons hydrogen and carbon element and further they are classified as aliphatic and aromatic and aliphatics we are aware methane ethane acetylene the cyclic aliphatic cyclohexane and aromatic is your benzene now here in that case the forms of representing organic compounds they can be represented non cyclic or cyclic then here non cyclic ethane will be there having empirical formula molecular formula structural formula so all this will be contributing towards the stability of your pharmaceutical preparations or any herbal formulations and here in that case this uh, ethane molecule can be represented in a chain form then fisher form android form then your dimensional formula then your newman projection electronic formula and ball and stick formula so based on that you can have that representation and all this representation will playing a vital role in the stability testing now the cyclic compounds the ba basic cyclic compound is cyclohexane which can be represented in empirical formula molecular formula and structural formula so here in that case the molecular formula c6h12 that can be represented in a cyclic form that will be nothing but your cyclohexane polygon formula and howard has work on his uh, cyclohexane and he has projected that our projection you can represent that in wedge and dash and here the ball and stick model and the newman projection also you can have it and then you can have the chair formula now from stereochemistry point of view chair so we are sitting on chair chair is stable so same is applicable for the molecules so the chair form of that cyclohexane is stable so you can have that correlation and long back in history this french physicist jean baptiste biot who started the beginning of organic stereochemistry and found certain organic compounds molecules they rotated the plane polarized light and this activity will be called as optical activity you are aware so these are the basics then he has proposed that polarimeter and he has carried out that experiment and louis pasteur long back in 1848 he was actually uh, described the optical activity is due to the presence of dissymmetric grouping of atoms in molecule and experiment made on tartaric acid the very first molecule and confirm the asymmetric grouping or the chiral carbon atom that is required for optical activity so that was same louis pasteur who has contributed for preparation of that antibiotics now this jacob h wentoff and libel they laid the foundation of stereochemistry and postulated the asymmetric carbon model tetrahedral arrangement the stick wall model i have shown that was postulated by this wentoff and libel and the concept of three dimensional structure chemistry that was awarded a chemistry nobel prize in 1901 the first recipient of the prize and here they have described the shape and size of the tetrahedral carbon atom in methane now the proposal of tetrahedral carbon atom that is actually based on the evidence of isomer number isos means identical meros means part and only tetrahedral structure for methane agrees with the evidence of the isomer number so based on that here that isomer number will be actually required everywhere while stabilizing or studying the stability testing of pharmaceuticals as well as your herbal preparations already i have shown this tetrahedral carbon shape and size that is actually regulating the stability testing of the molecules in your pharmaceuticals as well as herbal preparations and you see the bond length that carbon and hydrogen it is 1.10 armstrong and 1.10 armstrong is equal to 1 into 10 raised to minus 12 cm so that much small it is and based on that you can have a clear cut idea how it is regulating the complete system stereochemistry in your stability testing of the pharmaceuticals now you are aware of that chiral carbon atom now chiral carbon atom that greek word chair means hand now this hand is actually a chiral object and is not superimposable on its mirror image and any object that cannot be superimposed on its mirror image is chiral our left hand is actually the mirror image of our right hand but the two hands are not superimposable to superimpose the two hands plane has to be changed mujhe dikh raha hai ha sir yaar ye camera yaad hai 
ये बता रहा है तो आर यू एबल टू सी माय हैंड यस माय हैंड इज विजिबल सी यस और नो यस हाँ नो यू सी नो सर नो सर मुझे दिखना चाहिए ना यार वन मिनट मैं कैसा दिखूंगा यहाँ ना आई एम विजिबल टू यू स्टीरियोकेमिकल मॉलिक्यूल एंड इफ आई हैव टू सुपर इम्पोज इट आई हैव टू चेंज द प्लेन बाय वन एटी डिग्री सेल्सियस सो सेम इज द थिंग रिक्वायर्ड for your stereochemical molecules and the same phenomena will be used in stability testing of your pharmaceuticals as well as herbal formulations now again i will come to my screen sharing of the slides we are at the chiral carbon atom so i hope you have got it clear now we can have the examples of chiral objects as hand gloves shoes and la- many things you can have it now from the chiral carbon atom the phenomena that comes is chirality or asymmetry now chirality the handedness phenomena shown by chiral carbon atom that is called as chirality the very good example is lactic acid and from the uh, beginning of the day we either used to take tea coffee or milk and that milk contain lactic acid so it is a stereochemical moiety so the stereochemistry starts from the beginning of our day with the help of that milk or tea or coffee and milk is having that lactic acid so here this lactic acid the stereochemistry of the asymmetry the molecules that are not superimposable on their mirror images they are called as chiral and a carbon atom to which four different groups are attached will be called as chiral center or chiral carbon atom now this chiral carbon atom will be regulating your stability testing in pharmaceuticals as well as herbal formulations without that we can't proceed for the stability testing now here the stick ball model of that lactic acid how it looks red ball indicating your oxygen black carbon and white hydrogen now based on that here the structures that we get here they are called as isomers greek word iso means identical meros means part isomer they are the different compounds that have the same molecular formula and are non identical molecules with the same atomic composition so this thing isomer uh, this uh, configuration will be required while stabilizing the molecule or for stability testing or for having the stability testing of your pharmaceuticals as well as your herbal preparations now this isomers as our uh, nation is having constitution so the organic molecules will also have their constitution and that will be called as constitutional isomers and if you apply stereochemistry and you prefix stereo word to the isomers it will be stereo isomers now here the structural isomers and positional isomers and your different functional group isomers they are actually the constitutional isomers so based on that the normal butane can be represented in other form that is 2 methyl propane so that will be a structural isomer having same molecular formula then the positional isomers position changes the 2 bromo changes to 3 bromo molecular formula is same and the different functional group here molecular formula is same but the functional group if you change it that molecule can be changed from benzoic acid to ortho hydroxy benzaldehyde so this is actually the constitutional isomers and based on that here the phenomena will be called as isomerism i ism suffixing or forming noun an action or its result and the phenomena whereby a single molecular formula can represent more than one compound will be called as isomerism 
so that's much simple fight it is there and isomers that of glyceraldehyde i have shown glyceraldehyde is the parent molecule where this will be required in kilani fischer synthesis the synthesis of carbohydrates or glucose that starts with this parent compound so that is nothing but glyceraldehyde and if the hydroxy group is on right side that will be called as diglyceraldehyde and if it is on left side hydroxy group at the chiral carbon atom it will be called as l glyceraldehyde the parent molecule so it is actually regulating the phenomena of isomer so these are two isomers and the phenomena of regulating two isomers will be called as isomerism now this is the stick ball model of your glyceraldehyde playing vital role in kfs and this will be also required for their stability testing now just prefix prefixing the word stereo to isomers here it will be called as stereo isomers and isomers studied with three dimensional aspects <coughs> they will be called as stereo isomerism and here in that case the phenomena whereby a single molecular formula can represent more than one compound in three dimensions will be called as stereo isomerism so that much simple we have started with isomer then isomers then stereo isomers and the phenomena will be called as stereo isomerism just these are the simple things and these things will be required for your stability testings of your pharmaceuticals as well as your herbal preparations without that we can't have the stability testing of any molecule now here this stereo isomerism that occurs in molecules with identical structure by which it is meant that they have the same order of atom but differ in their spatial arrangement now this spatial arrangement is nothing but configuration probability in relation with the chiral carbon atom so this configuration will be actually governing again while designing the stability testing of pharmaceuticals as well as your herbal formulations now here how stereo isomerism they are classified basic classification of stereo isomerism now we have seen constitutional stereo isomerism and based on that the stereo isomers two major classes are there one is your configurational or the probability isomerism and other will be your conformational isomerism that will be regulating the complete structure and that will be regulating your stability testing now configurational stereo isomers they are further classified as enantiomers enantio that are mirror image non superimposable dia stereomers that means two then comes your geometric isomers relative isomers and absolute configuration so these are actually the basic classification now enantiomers they are actually coming and giving rise to optical isomers where optical isomers will be dextro leo and racemic then dia stereomers they will be giving an meso structure then geometric isomer geometry means your lines and angles so based on that the orientation will be there cis that means on same side the groups that are arranged on same side of the two carbon atoms adjacent they will be called as cis if they go diagonally opposite that will be called as trans and the german scientist who has work on this zusman and antigen they have proposed the zn e configuration or geometric isomerism and based on that from carbohydrate studies a relative isomer phenomena came into existence in kilani fischer synthesis in the very first step from your triose it get convert to tetrose where you get that erythro and uh, thrio so that is erythro sugar and thrio sugar so they are named accordingly and in relative isomers also the capital d and capital l phenomena that is actually governing the position of the hydroxy group on the further most chiral carbon atom the bulky group on which side it is attached so based on that the d series d glucose will be coming and the l series l glucose will be coming or d amino acids or l amino acid so that is actually from relative isomers the basic things carbohydrates plays vital role in our body the glucose that provides us energy d glucose it is there and not l glucose and nowadays while having a drug designing aspect or the stability testing aspect the absolute configuration plays a vital role where it is designated by r and s rectus and sinister so that will be governing the stability testing of pharmaceuticals now what is configuration now configuration it is actually the manner of arrangement shape or the outline an arrangement of atom that characterizes a particular stereo isomer will be called as configuration probability so what is the probability suppose if we toss a coin so only two probability are there either head or your tail will be coming so that same probability for your organic molecules or the chiral compounds or for stability testing that probability will be there so if one isomer it is stable other will be non stable so that is the probability and it will be governing the stability testing of the pharmaceutical so that is the meaning so configuration plays a vital role 
in establishing the stability testing and that has to be the basis of stereochemistry so that's why we have correlated the stereochemical trends in stability testing of pharmaceuticals i hope are you able to hear me uh, sir tell me sir hi can i continue uh, please continue sir okay okay ha ha the response should be there from your side ha huh? okay i will continue here in that case now from configuration configurational stereo isomers combining the two terms stereo chemistry and the uh, isomers so we get an configurational stereo isomers now configurational stereo isomers actually they are in the manner of arrangement shape outline attachment of atoms in three dimensionals and configurational stereo isomer they are interconverted by inversion turning inside out at a chiral center now why i am taking this because it will be actually affecting the stability testing of pharmaceuticals so based on that configurational stereo isomers will be required and depending upon that we will be designing the stability testing of the pharmaceuticals now the enantiomers enantio meaning opposite so the greek word enantio that is meaning opposite so isomers that are mirror image of each other they are called as enantiomers and two stereo isomers that are not superimposable mirror image of each other so the example is 2,3 dichloropentane how the stick ball model of 2,3 dichloropentane will be visible where in that case that green balls they are actually indicating the chlorine here i have shown the cyclic structure of that 1,2 uh, dichlorocyclopentane and the enantiomer that have identical chemical properties except toward the optically active reagents and have an identical physical properties except for the chiral direction of rotation of the plane of polarized light now the phenomena of formation of enantiomers that will be called as enantiomerism so that much simple it is like isomers isomerism stereo isomers stereo isomerism enantiomers enantiomerism in that way you can have it now the in classification i have classified optical isomers optic means visual or of according to optics or optics of eye or sight and some substances that rotate the plane polarized light such substances they are called as optically active and if the rotation of plane is right clockwise that will be called as your dextrorotary that is actually coming from the latin word dexter right and it is denoted by a d small d italic d and always in bracket or you can have a positive sign in bracket so don't get confused with the small d and capital d they are different so small d italic that is dextrorotary and if the rotation of plane is to the left counter clockwise the substance is levo rotatory levus left and denoted by an italic l in bracket or the negative it is very clear so based on that no confusion should be there while designing the stability testing of the molecules taking into account the stereochemistry now the optical isomers the two forms they are called as optical isomers mirror image non superimposable and optical isomer they are also called as enantiomers the very good example already i have taken in my previous slide that is lactic acid so here i can show the d lactic acid as well as l lactic acid and the phenomena will be called as your optical isomerism now optical isomers here in that case for your d glyceraldehyde and l glyceraldehyde now this i have mentioned here small d that means an italic here actually it is an dextrorotary and levorotary you can put capital d so that capital d will be actually denoting the series where the hydroxy group on the chiral carbon atom on which side right or left if it is on right side again it will be correlating with the capital d if it is on left that will be correlating with the capital l series so that indicates the chiral carbon atom having bulky group on which side and don't get confused with the small d and capital d or small l or capital l now racemic modification racemic means actually it is an mixture so here is optically inactive if the mixture is 50 50 and when enantiomer they are mixed together the rotation caused by a molecule of one isomer is exactly cancel by an equal and opposite rotation caused by a molecule of its enantiomer so that will be denoted by dl or positive negative for example lactic acid now dia dia means two so from that dia stereomers and for more than one chiral centers stereo isomers that are not mirror images of each other they will be called as dia stereomers and diastereomers they are your stereo isomer but not enantiomers
so here in that case now diastereomers the example is 2 3 dichloropentane rishab ye lagega mujhe now here in that case diastereomers have different physical properties are not identical and may be optically inactive and the phenomena of formation of diastereomers will be called as dia isos stereomerism so dia stereo isomerism in that way you can have it the phenomena now the meso structure so here meso means combining from the middle so compound is having one whose molecules are superimposable on their mirror images and even though they contain chiral centers and a meso compound is optically inactive so again it will be regulating the stability testing the meso structure 2 3 dichlorobutane or turn end for end you get a meso compound in the same plane here that i have shown that dotted line now geometry geometric isomers science of properties and relations of lines or bonds that will be called as geometry and not required chiral carbon atom and the particular kind of diastereomers that owe their existence in hindered rotation about double bonds they will be called as geometric isomers now geometric isomers the configuration probability of the isomeric two butenes so here cis two butene and trans two butene they are not mirror image cis the latin meaning on this side or same side or identical so here you can see in cis two butene the first structure methyl groups they are on the same side of the double bond so that's why it is called as cis geometric isomer trans the second structure in butene here latin across opposite you can see that the two methyl groups they are trans diagonally going in opposite direction that's why it is called as trans latin across or opposite so that much simple it is how that model it will be looking stick ball model and based on that the phenomena geometric isomerism of forming this isomers will be called as geometric isomerism and a pair of geometric isomers are then diastereomers as they are not mirror image and geometric isomers they are interconverted in principle by rotation about a double bond and geometric isomers have different physical and frequently different chemical reactivities so that will be again governing the stability testing i hope i am uh, audible yes sir yes, yes sir audible sir okay okay, okay. now here the geometric isomers or the cyclic compounds how they are denoted now here that decalin that means c10 derivative now in that first structure the hydrogens they are in opposite way but on the same side how that is here in the first structure it is not uh, able to possible to have that justification but you fuse it from your conformer point of view actually cyclohexane is chair form and if i put that fusion in chair form and i show that decalin so the fusion of two rings a and b chair form and the hydrogens that are coming on the fusion side they are on same side so that's why that configuration is cis second trans so here in that flat structure or that polygon structure or the fusion of two cyclohexane it is not possible to show that how it is trans but if you fuse it in an conformer so your chair conformer you can see that the two rings they are fused and the hydrogen one is going above plane of the ring denoted by solid line and other coming below plane of the ring denoted by dotted line that is alpha bond so you can see it the fusion here in that case the fusion is trans fusion and the above structure that depict the cis fusion so it is very clear so the stereochemistry if you take it into account and have their orientation it will give a clear cut idea about that and actually this will be helpful for stabilizing the molecule or for stability testing of your pharmaceuticals they have shown the stick ball models here trans decalin now here in that case the geometric isomers so that are denoted by z and e z mean german zusman together same side and e german antigen opposite side so here one bromo one chloropropene that are having here the priority groups here methyl and uh, your hydrogen and bromine and chlorine if you see it the priority if you give so this z that means together so here that methyl and bromine they are on the same side and in the other structure here in that case antigen this methyl and bromine they are opposite so that's why that e the german scientists who have postulated this now based on that the stick ball model and now it is a relative configuration phenomena is taking uh, much more importance in case of your carbohydrates so here that is your erythro and thio isomers actually they are coming from kilani fischer synthesis they used 
the molecules having non symmetric end generally used in fisher projection they are not mirror images and resembles the diastereomers now here two like functional groups they are on same side that will be called as erythro and the molecule the uh, this molecule that will be called as erythros from your uh, trimer to tetramer so here at that level here it will be erythros and if the hydroxy group on the chiral carbon atom if they goes on the opposite side so here if they goes on the opposite side so that will be called as threos so that's why the orientation threos and your erythros so i hope you got this i am audible Say yes or no. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I will continue. Ah. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, s
the CIP system can involve prelog system and the rules and you can give the absolute configuration and nowadays in pharmaceutical industry while designing the drug the absolute configuration plays a vital role and based on that itself the molecule has to be further uh, taken for stability testing so here absolute configuration nowadays is the phenomena that has been universally accepted now the stick ball models how it will be looking for that bromo uh, chloro iodomethane and this is the slide that is for r and as isomer showing the atomic priority so you can see the iodine having atomic number 53 higher bromine 35 less chlorine 17 and hydrogen 1 same is the case for atomic weight so it obeys the system and based on that you can call it as r and s i hope you are getting it i am audible yes sir yes yes, yes. Okay, okay thank you <laughs> now this r and s isomers for butanol you can have that absolute configuration and you can have that idea now these things will be actually required for drug molecules i will show certain drug molecules at the end of my presentation now configuration part that is over now come to the conformational confirming something validating something so in stereochemistry the validation term is actually termed by conformation and that will be called as conformational stereoisomers now you can see the conformational stereoisomer they are classified as eclipse grand eclipse it is undesirable staggered desirable form skew anti in between that gotch chair stable boat if you are having an experience of traveling in boat boat is always unstable so same is the case for the drug molecules also if it is in the form of boat you are representing cyclohexane the molecules that will be coming together they will have a steric hindrance repulsion and it will try to stabilize it and it will get interconverted into the chair form already i have mentioned chair stable we are sitting on chair because it is stable but if you sit in boat it will be unstable twist boat half chair all these are the conformational stereoisomers form now the conformations so the different arrangement of atom that can be converted into one another by rotation about single bond it will be called as conformations now here i have shown the androine formula or the newman projection formula where eclipse conformation of ethane you can see it overlapping eclipse means overlapping either your sun earth moon they come in one uh, equator so you get an eclipse so the same case we can have the terminology for organic molecules also and eclipse is highly unstable or it is not desirable so same is the case for organic molecules staggered conformation the infinity of intermediate conformations here in that case that will be called as skew conformation staggered means place apart now here anti opposite if functional groups like functional groups like methyl they are in opposite so they will be called as anti conformation of your normal butane now the gauge conformation whatever are the intermediates if you rotate it they will be called as gauge conformation and here the van der waal forces repulsive steric repulsion then the steric strain or the torsional strain crowding of methyl group mirror images conformational of enantiomers anti and gauge they are not mirror image of conformational or they are diastereomers so these are the parameters that are actually governing the stability of the molecule and they will be required while stability testing also now here the conformational isomers or here the conformational isomers will be called as conformers as we are calling as the study as conformational studies so different conformationals corresponding to energy minima they will be called as conformational isomers or conformers and conformational isomers are interconvertible by rapid rotation about one or more single bond just i will show you here in that case one molecule that i am having here namaskar sir bolio ha
sorry for the break here in that case i will continue so here in that case we are discussing about the conformational isomers now here in that case ha ah, now i will show you one uh, ethane molecule with stick ball models are you able to see yes or no unmute say yes or no yes sir ha ah, now are you able to visualize this uh, stick ball model of ethane yes sir ha ah, now just yes i am rotating it ha ah? so that rotation phenomena you can see it here that uh, staggered form here this is the eclipse form overlapping so that is the beauty of this uh, stick ball models so you can have that explanation now you can see the staggered form here that is lying at the bottom of the graph and here the eclipse form it requires 3 kilo calorie energy so it indicates that this eclipse form is graph and if you rotate it and you convert it to eclipse form it will require certain energy or that molecule become unstable and you can have that points for unstability is the hydrogens they are overlapping so they are having interaction or they are having a crowding effect shielding effect so that's why that will be your eclipse form unstable you can have it based on that here for same is the case for your another molecule that is normal butane that you can have the explanation now the same thing you can have the explanation for your cyclohexane now cyclohexane you can see it the chair form that is lying at the bottom half chair requires 11 kilo calories then twist boat required 5.5 boat here that requires as compared to the twist boat 1.6 and this is a graph illustrating the potential energy graph and where chair conformer is lying that is the stable now here are the conformations of cyclohexane now cyclohexane how it looks six carbon atom they are fused together and the chair form that i have shown twist boat half chair now here the structure that i am going to discuss showing an axial and equatorial bond for chair conformer of cyclohexane now this axial and equatorial bond they plays a vital role in stability testing and they are actually contributing from the stereochemical aspect point of view now here the bonds that are going through the axis that is perpendicular to the structure they will be called as axial and the axial bond they are represented with green line and if it comes above plane of the ring that is solid line and if it goes below plane of the ring that is your dotted line or alpha bond so here at one carbon atom the four bonds that are there two covalent bonds they will be in adjacent carbon atom and this two axial and equatorial bonds alternatively they will be having one going through axis and one going through equatorial so at the same carbon atom if you consider one will be alpha and one will be beta so total six carbon atom they are having so six axial and six equatorial bond at that particular point so based on that you can have that idea equatorial bond means going to the equator dotted line indicating below plane of the ring and your alpha bond solid line beta bond so the same carbon atom will have alpha beta bond or the same carbon atom will have axial and equatorial orientation so this orientation is actually governing the stereochemistry of the drug molecules having this cyclohexane ring in that preferably most of the steroid molecules they are actually steroids they are very good compounds in a small doses form so steroids they were used for the covid treatment also if any drug that doesn't have its action so the last alternative or the last choice of drug is the steroid and steroid will have the stereochemistry role here in that case steroid there cyclopentano perhydrophenanthrin so cyclopentano perhydrophenanthrin perhydrophenanthrin means phenanthrin molecule having three cyclohexane ring which has been hydrogenated and that fusion will be regulated and where axial equatorial phenomena plays a vital role so steroids they are a drug of choice 
for treatment in covid also dexamethasone was given it is a steroid now the chair form why it is stable it is a perfect symmetrical structure compact completely free of strain angles torsion angles van der waal forces and every angle is tetrahedral angle and every carbon carbon bond having precise staggered energy minima and no crowding of hydrogen atom and here everything just fits geometrical demands or the architectural perfection and cyclohexane chairs in the structure of the diamond so here in that case diamond most stable form of carbon and the hardest substance known and replacing one methylene group with oxygen make up the most abundant building block of the organic world that is your d glucose here in that case now here the chair form most stable conformation that is also having appearance of the chair form in the diamond structure so many chairs they are fused and making that uh, diamond tough so that is the phenomena here in that case of the chemistry or the stereo chemistry of your diamond now coming to the chair form most stable conformation of glucose now we are alpha d glucopyranose the ring is pyrene ring just replacing one carbon atom with oxygen the ring will be called as your pyrene ring and as it is belonging to carbohydrates it will be called as glucopyranose and here that alpha hydroxy group below plane of the ring that capital d having bulky group on the farther most chiral carbon atom coming above plane of the ring here in that case and the positive sign that indicates here at that particular point the uh, optical rotation of that plane polarized right in right direction that will be called as your glucopyranose and appearance of appearance of uh, this chair form in alpha d glucopyranose तू घेन जाते हाउ दैट स्टिक बॉल मॉडल लुक्स Uh, nomenclature of the tutorial this uh, colored illustration first chiral carbon atom having hydroxy group on right that will be called as sir please admit the mic sir one minute now my sound is visible hello thank you sir ha huh. slides are visible slide is not visible sir one minute one minute some internet problem is there just i will okay. share it One minute. अरे ये रिशब ये ये स्लाइड्स शेयर नहीं हो रही ना बराबर हाँ जल्दी आइए विद इन अ मिनट आई विल बी इन टच विथ यू Oh, okay, sir. Ah, just a minute.
अभी अनम्यूट हो गया था स्लाइड सर विजिबल ना हो सर सर विजिबल सर हाँ ओके ओके सॉरी फॉर द इंटरप्शन नाउ हियर दैट हाउ आर प्रोजेक्शन द साइक्लिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ग्लूकोज हाउ इट लुक्स हियर इन दैट केस वॉट अल्फा डी नोट्स एंड वॉट डी डी नोट्स एंड पॉजिटिव इन साइक्लिक स्ट्रक्चर द फर्स्ट कैरल कार्बन आइटम हैविंग एड्रॉक्सी ग्रुप बिलो प्लेन ऑफ द रिंग सो दैट विल डेजिग्नेट अल्फा एंड द फार्दर मोस्ट कैरल कार्बन आइटम हैविंग बल्कि ग्रुप अबव प्लेन ऑफ द रिंग दैट विल बी कॉल्ड एज डी सो दैट बिकम द अल्फा डी ग्लूको पायरानोज नाउ हियर इफ यू ट्राई टू कोरलेट फ्रॉम स्टीरियो केमिस्ट्री पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू और फ्रॉम स्टेबिलिटी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दिस ग्लूकोज इट विल बी एक्चुअली हैविंग चेयर कन्फर्मर and how that chair confirm will be looking now here in that chair confirmer whatever groups in howard projection they are below plane of the ring same in the chair will be there so at first point the hydroxy group below plane of the ring again it will be going below plane of the ring but having an axial orientation correct then for the second third fourth fifth all thing it will be matching whatever group they are below in howard in chair confirmer also it will be going below and above plane of the ring in uh, how are same with the chair confirm so that is the correlation and the molecule will be called as your alpha d glucopyranose so i hope you are getting the things now for beta beta d glucopyranose here in howard projection as well as your chair confirmer now here at that particular point beta means having the uh, this hydroxy group at first chiral carbon atom above plane of the ring so that is beta that is denoted d remains the same and the chair conformer that i have shown and the orientation of that hydroxy group from the, this uh, axial it has been converted to equatorial correct now same is the case for alpha l glucopyranose and here in that case you can have the correlation l stands for the bulky group coming below plane of the ring in howarth so it will be matching in chair also then you can have the orientation for beta l glucopyranose in howard as well as your uh, this chair confirmer now all these things they are actually required for uh, designing the molecule in drug uh, synthesis or drug designing and that will be governing the stability testing through stereochemistry so here at that particular point now the drug molecule now here the basic moiety i have taken that is aspirin benzoic acid derivative Uh, you are able to see the ring that i am holding say yes or no you are able to see the ring which is in my hand yes sir ha ah, now so th that ring is benzene ring you can see it is having three double bonds this uh, white are the hydrogen bonds and the fusion is carbon and when i prepare that stick ball model of this benzene how it looks it goes flat it is a flat structure though it is having that tetrahedral carbon atom but due to strain of three double bonds it will be going in flat way or that means it will be changing its chemistry stereochemistry from three dimensional to two dimensional 2d and this structure here it is 3d the tetrahedral carbon atom so clear cut differentiation that means the stereochemistry of that benzene ring it will be regulated through the flat structure or as such it will not play that much role in stereochemistry it is a flat structure stable structure so that stable benzene ring is present in the aspirin aspirin is nothing but your acetyl salicylic acid ha huh? available in market as ecosprin blood thinner or you can use for uh, pain relieving also so that molecule how it looks your acetyl salicylic acid or the benzoic acid derivative or aspirin i have shown that with stick ball models here in that case the red balls indicating oxygen the basic moiety that i have shown then another molecule which was commonly used during that uh, covid treatment or for reducing the temperature or body ache that was paracetamol dolo 650 then your calpol was there crocin was there then your pesimol was there huh? fifenil was there all that contained paracetamol the drug entity chemical entity and here the structure of that again having flat structure and the side chain the side chain that is of your n acetyl or that amino acetyl derivative or the side chain that is attached at the para position so that's why it will be called as paracetamol so that side chain is actually regulating the stereochemistry flat structure doesn't have that role so that paracetamol 
again it will be playing and vital role its stereochemistry in stability testing so here in that case another drug molecule that was also used for painkiller purpose in normal way also it is used but having certain side effects causes gastric irritation and bleeding that is diclofenac it is 226 dichlorophenyl amino phenyl acetic acid derivative so here acetic acid that means it will cause irritation and it will release acid and stomach irritation will be there though it is a good molecule but excessive use should be avoided so again its stereochemistry will be regulated through the side chain and that side chain is nothing but an your uh, acetic acid side chain here in that case so based on that here you can have the regulation of that uh, diclofenac now from stereochemistry itself the another derivative came into existence that was your aciclofenac it is present in your uh, uh, this molecule acinac or zerodol that contains aciclofenac it is a derivative of diclofenac only thing is here it will have uh, this additionally oxygen atom entrapped between your acetic acid and that carbon atom so or that uh, ester so based on that it becomes 26 dichlorophenyl amino phenyl acetal oxy acetic acid so that is nothing but aciclofenac again the side chain so this has been come through stereochemistry now another drug molecule that is commonly used for antacid purpose or h2 receptor antagonist that is nothing but your omeprazole and complex structure having here and that case here the benzamidazole moiety is there and having a 5 methoxy 2 methoxy 35 dimethyl pyridine or methyl sulfenyl so here at that particular point that omeprazole it is present in your omi or omes that contains this omeprazole so again the stereochemistry and again it will be regulating in your stability testing stability testing another molecule commonly used for antihistamine purpose that is cetrazine or it is an antihistamine derivative so here that cetrazine it is a 2244 chlorophenyl phenyl methyl piprazenyl here in that case ethoxy acetic acid derivative again acetic acid derivative you can find in doctor's prescription one anti allergic is there if some allergy occurs skin rashes occurs so here at that particular point that cetrazine will be there omeprazole is also prescribed to have to reduce the acidity if due to drugs or antibiotics we get acidity so based on that here you can have the regulation again stereochemistry then the adrenaline a neurotransmitter that adrenaline having absolute configuration in the side chain 4 1 r 1 hydroxy 2 methyl amino ethyl benzene 1 2 diol so here again flat structure having two hydroxy group and the side chain methyl amino side chain which will be actually having the adrenergic action another molecule that is aliphatic molecule acetylcholine so again a neurotransmitter it is 2 acetyl oxy n n n trimethyl ethanium acetylcholine so we are knowing acetylcholine regulating the cholinergic activity within our body atropine anticholinergic activity again a uh, this uh, flat benzene ring is there side chain is there so that is as a bicyclo and here it is 3 hydroxy phenyl propionate derivative so that is atropine used for anticholinergic activity and now the last slide that i am going to share i hope you are getting me say yes or no so that i can share the last slide sir i am uh, audible audible sir audible huh. so the last slide of my presentation so we have started with chemistry then we have come to the carbon compounds their configuration their conformations their chirality and then we have correlated with the stability testings now you can see the role of that c confusion word starts with c chemistry starts with c carbon compounds they also c configuration c conformations also c the chirality also c now the stability word if you invert c s comes so the role of this c everywhere it will be justifiable 
i hope the things are clear and the clear word also start with c thank you to the organizers for giving me an opportunity and listening me patiently and sorry for the inconvenience in the beginning due to some technical issues or to internet issue some echo was there and in between also some interruption was there so i apologize for that and i thanks to the organizers and to the participants those who have provided me the opportunity to have an interaction through webinar on my topic stereochemical trends in stability testing of pharmaceuticals i hope you might have gained certain knowledge from this webinar and you will apply the things in your near future for stability testing of pharmaceuticals either in your ayurvedic preparations or allopathic preparations or the herbal formulations so any questions from your side anybody the participants how many participants are there total today sir total uh, 45 to 50 members in zoom meeting sir okay okay in, okay. in youtube uh, 8 800 members in youtube sir okay okay no no problem no problem we, we have the two connections sir because of zoom meeting only allows the 100 members in max also sir okay no problem no problem others will be join in the youtube link sir okay no problem no problem so participants or anybody from staff or those who have uh, joined this webinar online so questions are highly appreciated so requesting the participants please unmute and ask any questions we have also to the to the about on the today's guest fab please please admit the mic and ask the questions participants the topic is open for discussion sir is waiting for your super super queries if any sir i i have one question sir mm hmm uh the stereo as per the ich q6a guidelines yeah uh, stereo chemical isomers are uh, related to related to substance uh, related to uh, uh, products are difficult to study non substance yeah. products are easy to identify sir is it correct sir statement yes sir it is correct it is correct now what to stereo, now stereochemical stereo isomers huh? they are very uh, difficult to separate if if you do the synthesis and in synthesis okay. we get the mixture of the stereo isomers uh, so that has to be resolved first either through tartaric acid or chlorosulfonic acid and then okay. the separation has to be carried out and then further characterization has to be done so that is a very tedious process to separate stereo isomers okay sir. okay sir so because of the separation problem the stability studies are difficult to carry out for the substance related degradation products correct correct non non substance related products correct sir during uh, in the natural products chemistry for huh. the phytopharmaceuticals also the same problem sir no phytopharmaceuticals if they are uh, having no stereo stereochemistry like suppose if the molecule that doesn't have the functional groups of suppose if it is an having benzene orientation so here in that case benzene orientation doesn't uh, go in stereochemical way if the molecule is having an benzene nucleus aromatic nucleus that will be flat and it will not governing the stereochemistry so based on that it will be minimizing but the side chains functional group that are attached that will be actually governing the stereochemistry so in phytochemicals after isolation extraction in what pure form you get and what structural orientation you are having that you can decide whether it will be affecting the stability or not but these are the difficult in the academics so sir because of the stability studies for stereo isomers 
Yeah. Maybe in the academic institutions, it is maybe difficult to task to the research. Correct, correct. Because we are not having that much of facilities. We are not having that much of instrumentation. We doesn't have that much of uh, facilities to have the separation and other things. Thank you, sir. Request to okay. audience or participants. Please yeah, yeah, ask if, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please admit and ask the question to the uh, question regarding the today's guest talk. Any audience, please. Good afternoon, sir. Hi, sir. Ah, good afternoon. Michael Harika from National College of Pharmacy. Ah, speak loudly. Michael Harika from National College of Pharmacy. Yeah. Sir, what methods are used to detect stereochemical change in the analysis of herbal formulation? What? What methods are used to detect stereochemical changes in the analysis of herbal formulations? Now, herbal formulations, na actually they are having a mixture. Huh? So that mixture first has to be separated. So separation has to be done through resolving compounds. Now, resolving compounds like tartaric acid is a resolving agent. Chlorosulfonic acid is a resolving agent. So there you have to first separate it. So separation you can use your column chromatography or normal chromatography or thin layer chromatography, and you can separate the compounds through solvents, whether polar, non-polar, and based on that, after separation, you can have that uh, idea and you can go for characterization. So certain uh, reagents that are used for separating the stereochemical isomers. It is clear. Say yes or no. I am audible. Sir, I am audible or not? Whether my voice is audible? Huh. Anybody else? Uh, Rao sir, if anybody else or otherwise will uh, stop sharing. Speak loudly. I am not able to hear you. Yes, sir. Myself, Devi, sir. Huh. Sir, please give a note about uh, absolute configuration, sir, in small note. Acha, absolute configuration. Now, you are aware with absolute alcohol absolute. that we use in laboratory? Absolute. Absolute alcohol you are knowing? Yes, sir. Huh. So why it is called as absolute alcohol? Because it is extra pure. So that absolute word, purity word, that has been prefixed to the configuration. Now different types of configuration already I have discussed. And the absolute configuration that was proposed by the scientist and they have given that uh, absolute configuration as a nomenclature name as R and S. And coincidentally that R is resembles with the rectus and S with the sinister and depending upon the functional group that are attached on priority basis they are named and we put the arrow in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction and depending upon the priority the groups that are attached your R configuration or the S configuration will be coming into existence and that will be called as your absolute configuration that is the complete configuration or complete stereochemical isomer that has been identified others they are confusing like cis trans or optical isomers, geometric isomers or your uh, enantiomers, diastereomers. So we have to give a justification. We have to have some consideration. But in absolute configuration, no consideration is there. Depending upon the functional group that are attached, depending upon its atomic weight or your atomic mass or the atomic number, we are giving the priority. And based on that, we put an arrow in which direction it will be going. 
the functional group that are attached to the carbon atom either chiral carbon atom or simple carbon atom so based on that the configuration that arises that will be called as r configuration or s configuration and beyond that no configuration is possible or no uh, confusion is there so that's why that is called as absolute configuration if you want to show that slide we can share that slide also it is clear yes sir okay okay any questions professor rao anybody interested in asking questions hello whether i am audible हाँ प्रोफेसर राव सर इज देर फ्रॉम पार्टिसिपेंट्स स्टिल एनी क्वेश्चन से येस और नो professor rao is there sir my voice is audible or not or otherwise we will uh, stop sharing ha ah. okay okay no problem okay 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 i, I will wait i will wait no no problem सर आर यू ऑडिबल सर या यू आर ऑडिबल 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 सर देन द सर द वेबिनार इज कमिंग टू द लास्ट स्टेप ऑफ द क्लब लास्ट फेज ऑफ द वर्क दैट इज द वैंडेक्टरी ऑफ द वेबिनार आई विल लाइक इट टू इंट्रोड्यूस द आई विल लाइक टू हैंड ऑफ द माय सेशन टू दिव्या एम फ्रॉम स्टूडेंट टू गिव द वैंडेक्टरी नोट Please over to Divya. Good morning, all. I Divya from M Pharm C. Take the privilege of presenting vote of thanks. Firstly, I would like to thank our chairman, sir, C K V Vishnu Raju Garu, for his uh, continuous support and encouragement for the conducting national level events like this. Secondly, I would like to thank our vice chairman, Sri Ravichandra sir, and secretary, Sri Aditya Vishwam sir. for their support and valuable suggestions next i would like to thank ipa chairman educational division andhra pradesh sri vidyadhar sir for his association in conducting series of uh, webinars i would like to thank our director 
Dr. Kumar sir and Principal Dr. Natra sir for their valuable advices. I thank Professor Ansari sir for his enlightening lecture on stability testing of heparin drugs, challenges, regulatory compliance and perspectives. I thank Dr. Suresh Babu sir for his advanced investigation on lecture applications of hyphenated techniques in natural products and research strategies and methods in the search for bioactives. I thank Dr. Kadekar sir for the most interesting and exploring lecture on stereochemical trends in stability testing of pharmaceuticals. We are very thankful to all the guest speakers for their accepting our invitation in a short period and their continuous cooperation in making this webinar a grand success. I thank all the technical staff, teaching staff and management for their cooperation for smooth conducting of this online webinar. I thank all the student volunteers who worked day and night for making this webinar a grand success. Lastly, but not the least, I thank all the delegates for their active participation in the webinar. We look forward for their future participations in upcoming webinars. I thank coordinator and organizing secretary of the webinar for their continuous support and follow for making this event a grand success. Thank you all. Thank you all the participants. And thank you, sir. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Kadekar, sir, for spending a lot of time for sharing your knowledge to the students and participants, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Sir, am I audible, sir? Ah, now you are audible. Oh. Thank you very much to the organizers and to Dr. Natraj sir, principal of your college and to your staff members and all yes, participants. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Sir, I am in line sir. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Ah, thank you, thank you for giving me the opportunity. I hope your uh, participants might have gained some knowledge regarding stereochemistry and the stability testing. <coughs> thank you very much. Sir, sir, okay. thank, you, sir. sir. thank you sir, Professor Kadekar okay. sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, bye. Sir, thank okay, you, sir. Thank you, sir. Professor Karek, this thank is Dr. Natras, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Rao, sir, and uh, Natras, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You are enlightened okay. the students' knowledge, sir. Definitely. Okay, okay. Okay, okay sir. I will, I will conclude the session, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, for okay. Us. okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, okay thank bye. Thank you, sir. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you, Dr. Rao, sir.